Alaska is renowned for its iconic wildlife and vast landscapes. The wildlife in Alaska is an incredibly valuable resource. For many, living here is centered around the traditions and practice of wild food harvest. The Alaska Department of Fish and Game's Wildlife Health Program plays a crucial role in preserving this heritage by monitoring and safeguarding the health of these magnificent creatures. Veterinary staff monitor the health of wildlife by sampling live animals and performing necropsies of dead ones. Alaska's wildlife is opportunistically sampled and tested for diseases that can spread from animals to humans. Diseases like avian influenza, rabies, and SARS-CoV-2, the virus that causes COVID-19, among others. Surveillance is also important to detect an introduction of a new or non-native wildlife parasite or disease, such as moose winter tick and chronic wasting disease. For 25 years, Dr. Kimberly Beckman has led wildlife disease surveillance and testing in Alaska. She spends extensive time in the field and lab, sampling and testing thousands of animals for diseases. At the Alaska Department of Fish and Game office in Fairbanks, she conducts necropsies to determine cause of death and assess risk to other wildlife and humans. And one of the things that we do with the state is that we do surveillance of wildlife for diseases that transmit between people and animals, and animals and people, and it's called a zoonotic disease. On any given day, Dr. Beckman and other veterinary staff can be found in the lab examining various birds and mammals, including sheep, muskox, moose, seals, fox, bats, ermine, waterfowl, raptors, and songbirds. One of the animals that I work on quite a lot are moose. Uh, moose are very important to Alaskans, both for subsistence and um, for hunting and for culture and for the health of the environment. This particular moose is an adult female who was just found dead yesterday. Um, it's very unusual for an adult prime age female to die, so we investigate those to make sure that it's not an infectious disease or a problem in the environment that might um, impact these animals or um, human health. Currently, Alaska has fewer of the diseases and parasites affecting mammal populations than in the lower 48 states. Ongoing vigilance and monitoring help ensure that any diseases reaching Alaska are identified early so that action can be taken to prevent their spread. Public involvement plays a critical role in surveillance. The Wildlife Health Program relies on voluntary public reports and submissions of samples or dead animals when wildlife health issues are suspected. This benefits the Wildlife Health Program by enhancing wildlife health surveillance across the state. Whether in the wilderness or urban areas, hunters, nature enthusiasts, and anyone spending time outdoors should promptly report any unusual sightings they observe. As the climate changes and some species expand northward, Alaskans need to stay alert. Reporting unusual wildlife sightings to the Alaska Department of Fish and Game is crucial. With all Alaskans keeping a close eye on wildlife, the Department of Fish and Game is better positioned to keep one of our greatest resources safe and sustainable for future generations.